and welcome to session seven of our beginner series. Today we're going to be exploring the long holds. So we're going to set ourselves up for our practice. Bring yourself onto your mat and just gather your energy, have a sense of drawing it inwards and connect to your body. Have a sense of coming in and turning your awareness inside. Close the eyes and allow the spine to grow. Take a couple of deep breaths. And relax into yourself. Take all the pressure out. So we've been working through our six keys. And today we're going to explore the principle of Sangha. Sangha means inspiring company. And really it's about becoming aware of where we're placing our energy and what we're surrounding ourselves with. Also what we're consuming, not just food and drink and all that kind of stuff, but actually on an energetic level, are we doing things or engaging in stuff that actually is depleting us, even though we may be quite versed and quite habitual in what we're taking part in. There is um, sometimes we just outgrow stuff and, and it's connecting to this sense of awareness that is doing what is right and the most conducive um, kind of life setup for our energy so that we can grow into our highest potential. So that can be the company we keep, being around people that are raising our energy, challenging us, inspiring us, making us kind of feel that edge in ourselves, which is that dance between discomfort, you know, where we're kind of being challenged, but also where we're being raised and supported. So Sangha is a coming together of people like-minded energy that wants to grow and wants to enlighten itself and wants to be on a path of truth, living a truthful life. So we're going to bring this aspiration of higher company and we're going to bring it into our Namaste Kriya by taking an inhale, raising the arms up. Exhale, drawing the hands to the heart. And we seal this aspiration in our heart by taking a bow to ourselves for showing up today, however we are, to the people that are also showing up and to the method and the way that we're using to release all that we're not. Namaste. Namaste. So I'm going to invite Fran to come into her preferred position for her breathing practice today. <clears throat> so we've been doing um, some dynamic breathing. We explored double breathing in the belly. Last week we, we started doing the breath from the belly to the chest and into the chest. So what we're going to do today is we're going to repeat that practice for 15 double breaths. And then we're going to add a little bit more breathing to it repetition wise. So we'll do 30. So we're doing the whole lot together, which means you're going to have to set yourself up so that you're nice and comfortable. Just remembering that <clears throat> you're in the driver's seat. You know, I'm offering a pace and I'm offering um, a certain amount of breathing. But if you need to dial it down or, you know, amp it up, you just do what's right for you, okay? And if at any point you feel um, discomfort in a way that your body's telling you to stop, just stop, <clears throat> okay? So we're going to relax our body, close the eyes. Have the palms up to the sky if you're lying down. Allow the feet just to fold out 
If you're in a seated posture, allow yourself to be comfortable. So if you need to put um, cushions under your knees and your bum so that your chest is open, do what you can do to facilitate your breathing. We're going to take five double breaths in the belly, five double breaths belly to chest and five in the chest. Okay. Starting with the inhale through the nose twice. Away we go. into the chest. Into to your roots, release your breathing. Now you're going to gather all your power through your inhale, filling your body up through the nose. Hold the breath in and up. Open the mouth, our breath to soften the body. So you have a choice whether you want to think or feel. And we're going to choose to feel. Feel the energy inside the body, the sensations. Notice if you're fidgeting or Breathing kind of as a reaction. And just invite yourself to soften and relax. We are directly engaging our sympathetic nervous system with our dynamic breathing. We're raising the oxygen inside the body. And then we're kind of pulling the plug and we're learning to free flow, essentially, to fall back from the mind, the body, and open to the energy we're made of. So the carbon dioxide in the system will start to rise if you haven't breathed already. And this is enabling us to become more stress resilient. Because we're simply engaging with the chemistry of stress. So now <clears throat> we're going to do exactly the same, but this time we're going to explore 30 breaths. Now, if that feels like it's, it, it's just not available for you today, just do 15 again, but if you're up for the challenge, it's 10 double breaths in the belly, 10 belly to chest, and 10 into the chest. Starting with the inhale through the nose twice, away we go. Switch, belly to chest. Thank you. 
into the chest. Embrace the energy. Have your own journey. Final breath. Empty out. Relax. Now it's yours to fill up through your inhale, through the nose. All breath to exhale and soften. Go inside your body. Feel the big sensations inside and soften. So of course you can think. But it takes a bit of training to invite the mind to focus on the feeling. It takes a bit of courage to go to the edge of your vulnerability with life and feel. Keep shaking off your attachments. Let go of the world. And you bring your mind inside. We're gaining access to a deeper sense of safety. You know, we often talk about anxiety and all this kind of mental health stuff, which is so good to talk about, you know. But we can get stuck in it. And it can become a bit of an identity. And so when we're doing these practices, we are connecting to a deeper space within ourselves where we're freeing ourselves up, you know, and it's, it's a felt experience. You know, you can't just talk about this stuff. You have to live it. And this is the way in yoga is to practice, is to keep shedding, keep letting go. Keep opening through life experience. So we're going to take a breath together now, breathing in, filling up, and we're going to hold for 12 seconds at the peak of the breath. Away we go. Our breath to slowly let go, soften. So we've really kind of <clears throat> primed ourselves for our movement now. So we're just going to wiggle into the fingers and into the toes, have a sense of <clears throat> filling up your body 
And slowly we're going to make a transition to mountain flow, standing up. So we've done a lot of breathing. You may feel a little bit lightheaded. So you're just going to come up slowly. I'm going to pop the block sound on, which is that six by six breath rhythm to get us kind of into the, into the flow, into the structure of the practice. So first and foremost, feel your feet against the ground and just spread into those toes. Be real in your body, but also be open to change. We're going to take a breath in and breathe out. So we are connecting to our pulse as you breathe in, you open up your chest, you fill up your fingers, exhale to release and soften. Two more pulses, inhaling to fill up, exhaling to release. Flying mountain on your inhale, raising the arms up. Interlace the fingers. The exhale is going to release and you're going to send a wave of breath and let go through your body. As you breathe in, that breath now is going to meet your edges, open the ribs. As you exhale, you're able to let go. One more pulse, inhaling. Swan dive on your exhale, forward bow. We're going to take a pulse here, inhaling to look up. Exhaling, forward bow. Inhaling, lift and open the chest. Exhale, going to step you back into your downward dog. So feet are hip width apart. Take a breath here, breathing in. Exhale, grounding down through the palms and through the feet. Then we're going to drop the knees and inhale into a dog's heel. Exhale, sitting back into baby. Inhale, we're going to come forwards into cobra. So this is called a vinyasa flow. We're not actually sticking around too long. Take a pulse of breath here, inhaling to lift up. And we're going to shoot straight back into downward dog again. Exhale. And then the inhale is going to bring us forwards. And we're going to bring the feet underneath us, sitting down on the bum. So we're going to bring the legs out in front of us and we're coming into a seated forward bow. So the inhale is going to raise the arms up. And as you exhale, you're going to explore bowing forward. So you can bend into those knees. So that will take a lot of the stress out of the hamstrings. Open up through the chest. Exhale, you're going to forward bow. Inhale, you're going to connect to that pulse. So there is an opening on the inhale. And an exhale, you sinking down. And we're going to stay here for about another full breath. And you just bring your mind inside your body, feeling your edges of tension. Allowing that spine to unkink. So in yoga, we are opening what we call the nadis, which are these um, energy channels that run all the way throughout the body. And it's believed there are 72,000 in the body. And there are three main ones. So you have um, uh, energy channel running up your right side of your body, one on your left and one in the center. So we are really starting to kind of unkink the pipes. As we exhale, we soften. 
We're going to take a bonus breath here. So our forward bend is naturally introverting. It's naturally soothing. But we're going to take an inhale to fly the arms up. As you exhale, you're going to bring your hands forwards in front of you and slide them back behind you. And we are coming into table. So you're going to slide the feet up by your bum. And then on the inhale, we're going to lift the bum up and create a table. So you're going to lift the hips, open the chest. And then on your exhale, you're going to have to pulse. So inhaling, open up. Maybe you can be able to send that head back, exhaling. Two more pulses, grounding through the soles of the feet. Exhaling, soften. Inhaling, it's going to lift. And then the exhale is going to sit you down onto your bum as you cross your ankles. And then we're going to creep forwards on the inhale, looking up. Exhale, you're going to stand back into downward dog. And we're just going to take a breath here. Padding down. Connecting to our breath and just starting to kind of explore those edges of tension. Your exhale sinks into your heels, lengthening out through that tailbone. And then you're going to drop your knees on your inhale, looking up. Exhale, sinking back into baby. And then we're going to come forwards into our cobra. So you're going to keep your chest close to the ground, bum up to the sky. Bring your hands underneath by your shoulders. And you're just going to slowly start to kind of explore your cobra. So if you remember that we don't fix any of the postures, so you want to have a sense of with each inhale, you're going to open the chest, draw the shoulders back, lift the chin. And as you exhale, there is a natural release. You may even come down all the way to your front. So it's quite natural for the back and the chest to be quite sticky. And you can just work with this. So rather than getting fixated on how it looks, we want to kind of go into the breath. We want to go into the energy behind it because that tends to take care of the posture. So as you breathe in, there's a natural expansion, opening and a lifting. And as you exhale, there is a natural giving way and let go. And this enables you to be able to kind of stay a little longer in your posture so that breath can come up from the toes through the legs drawing the chest open and then that exhale let's go you may even come all the way back down onto your front we're going to take one more pulse here inhaling to lift up and we're going to do a counter flow now. So on your exhale, you're going to lift your bum, roll your spine into cat tilt. Inhale, rolls the spine, open the chest into dog tilt. Baby on your exhale, so you're creeping your hips back. And we're going to take a breath here. So we are working directly with the spine and with the nervous system. One more pulse. So on our next flow, we're going to go into a spinal twist. So it will be the um, left knee that draws forwards on the inhale. Exhaling, sinking the hips down. And you're going to bring that back leg around, hooking it over the knee if you can. And then you're going to ground down through your hips. And then on the inhale, you're going to raise the left arm up. 
Exhale, you're going to turn in towards your thigh. So the first thing we want to do is we want to be able to breathe. And that means we're going to have to back off, lift up. And then we're going to use our exhale to find your twist as we ring out. And we connect to our pulse. So each breath in, there's an inhale, there's a lengthening, lifting up. And as you exhale, there's a squeezing, like you're squeezing out a towel. So a lot of people, when they think of spinal twist, they tend to kind of get quite solid and quite forceful. And what that does, essentially, it sends a, a message to the body that you, um, you're kind of attacking it a little bit. So the, the tension that we're trying to release ends up getting kind of transferred somewhere else. So we want to pulse. And we want to explore those edges. And we want to feel easy inside. We're going to take a final breath here. And then exhale to ring out, coming into a sense of satisfaction. And then the inhale is going to bring us back to centre. As we switch the legs, exhale. So this time the left leg will be over the top. Right leg underneath. We're going to raise that right arm up and exhale. You come in lightly, first of all, you're patient, and then your inhale is going to grow spine. And then the exhale allows you to kind of deepen and explore. So we're giving our internal. Um, Organs, a nice massage, a ring out. We're also working on an area which is really kind of in yoga directly responsible for our sense of willpower and get up and go right in the abdomen. So allow yourself to go inside. We're going to take one more pulse here. And then the inhale is just going to gently bring you back to centre. We're going to take an exhale forward bow just to straighten out through that spine, even out. Inhale to raise the arms up. Exhale, draw the hands to the heart. And bring your mind inside your body. Our breath to exhale and release. So just feel through that small vinyasa flow that that small practice, the work you've done on your body to directly influence your energy. So now we're going to lie ourselves down on our back for our Shavasana. Relax your body, have your palms up to the sky, allow the feet to fall down. And we're going to take 15 double breaths, five in the belly, five belly to chest, five into the chest. Away we go.
into the chest. Draw your inhale in, filling up your body. Our breath, exhale to release. Unfix yourself from your body. Come into your feeling. Bring your mind into the energy in the tips of your toes, the roots of your toes, soles of your feet, tops of your feet, ankle joints, calves, shins, knee joints, thighs hips, buttocks, pelvic floor, tailbone, lower abdomen, the dip in your spine, upper abdomen, middle back, chest, shoulder blade, Collarbone, feel your upper back, armpits, fingertips, roots of your fingers, palms, backs of your hands, wrists, forearms, elbows, tops of arms. Shoulders, neck, jaw, back of head, chin, cheeks, mouth, nose, ears, eyes, forehead, eyebrow centre. Center of your brain. Feel the crown of your head. Crown of your head. Take a slow inhale. We're going to fill our bodies up with our energy for 12 seconds. Away we go. Fill your whole body. Whole body. Our breath to release. Full body let go. Feel yourself as open. Connect it. Three, now without disturbing yourself too much, you're going to gently bring yourself up to your seated position, keeping the eyes closed and shifted downwards. We're going to take our inhale to raise our arms or our Namaste Kriya. Exhale, drawing the hands to the heart. We take a bow to ourselves for showing up and doing the work to each other, for those that are practicing alongside us, and to the method. Namaste. Namaste.